I had one patient presented to me by one of the larger healthcare organizations in the metro area here in Minneapolis-St. Paul. It was an individual with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, oxygen dependent, who recurrently was being brought into the uh, emergency room of one of the hospitals in distress with respiratory failure. This patient was in the emergency department four different times within a month with this respiratory type of situation. They were admitted, they were stabilized, problems were handled appropriately, the patient was discharged back home. A week later, they were back in the ED with a problem. The case manager within that emergency department dispatched one of the community paramedics who was housed within that organization's EMS service to check on the welfare of the patient once they got home. The equipment wasn't working properly, and as a result, the patient was recurrently coming into the hospital in crisis. So once that was corrected, the patient then no longer ended up recurrently calling 911 and ending up in the hospital emergency department. Another great example, diabetic patient. This patient also was recurrently being seen in the hospital's emergency room with issues related to skin breakdown involving the lower extremities. This patient had actually reached a point where it looked as though the uh, extremity would have to be amputated from a, uh, related to gangrenous change. Home health care then got in the mix. They complemented their work with the community paramedic, dealing with these recurring skin breakdown areas that were recurrently infected. They slowly began to heal, and the patient, in fact, did very well and ended up being uh, able to salvage the extremity. So this was, this was a very significant improvement in this patient's medical status and he showed uh, the fact that he appreciated this work so much that he now is a volunteer within that hospital's emergency room.